Lord Gear Shield, The Forgiven, Retribution Vire Warcaster, Bastard, Cursed, The Lord of Ruin. The Warcaster, once known as Gore Shade, has been called all of these things. Once he was an Eldritch, one of a strain of undead abominations feared for feeding on the spiritual essence of their people. Now the goddess Skyra, Nis Aesir of Spring and Healer of the Divine Court, has miraculously restored him to life. He has cast off the name Gorshade to become Gear Shield once more. Everywhere he walks, a hush of awe comes over those present, often followed by intense debate on the meaning of Skyra's will. Gear Shield's actions 30 years ago sparked the War of the Houses. He also sacrificed his life to exist beyond death, consorted with the Nightmare Empire of Crix, and even attempted to kill the gods themselves. He tried to destroy Nysor and claim the Skira of Winter's frozen sword, Voas, as his own. It was with deicide in his heart that he strode into the fane of Skyra after fighting his way through the temple's guardians. But both gods stirred from their slumbers and challenged the Eldritch to a battle of words and will. The former Lord of Ruin did not speak of his time in the fane. His living flesh restored, he was sent forth as an avenging champion against the evading scorn threatening the last Iosan cities. Whatever transpired in the presence of Skyra changed him irrevocably. He is filled with a renewed purpose and now pursues his course as the most fervent believer in the fallen god. The goddess has not acted so directly for centuries, causing some to believe that this act was a manifest proof that the Retribution's path was both righteous and correct. Gear Shield has pledged his service and nicer sword to the cause, insisting that he has no interest in resuming his former leadership of House Vire. This comes as a relief to those Iosan still wary of the ambitions of the former Nysisar, though not all believe his conversion to be genuine. The nine voices of the Retribution have been placed in a position where they must support Gear Shield, for there is no question that his return to life is a miracle, but as of yet no one knows how far Skyra's divine favor extends in regard to his actions and choices. Few in the Retribution's leadership are comfortable with their new few in the Retribution's leadership are comfortable with their new and unasked for ally. Donald Virus in particular remains suspicious of the reborn Gear Shield, refusing to believe that his former enemy could be ever fully redeemed. None of this troubles Gear Sheet, however. Whether enduring the suspicion of his fellow Iosans or fighting in the heat of a raging battle, he remains ever calm. The touch of the goddess still lingers upon him, as does her voice in his ears. He is driven to cut down all those whose actions imperil her. Gear Shield led numerous incursions to drive out pockets of scorn invaders probing into the Mistborn and has begun to spearhead renewed forays into the human kingdoms. A small group of devout Iosans has taken to calling Gear Shield the Forgiven. He has done nothing to either quell or encourage this growing cult. On the battlefield, he has returned the dying to life, and no soldiers fervently speak his praises and see him as filled with Skyra's light. This has raised concerns within the consulate court given the dangerous influence he wielded as an assessor of House Vire. It remains to be seen whether this reborn messiah now represents the salvation or the ruin of the kingdom of Ios.